All right, thank you. Hey, Lucas, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I got to tell you, man, first of all, I'm a huge fan. Ever since I was a kid, I used to watch you in a lot of stuff. So it's exciting to be actually talking to you about Cash oh, Out. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That's cool. And speaking of which, you were great in the movie, man. I watched it yesterday, as a matter of fact. And I I loved what you did in the film, like playing oh, yeah? this. Yeah, you play like the, the goofy the brother, goofy. you know, little brother and, yeah. you know, and everything. So great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just thought it was like, you know, I'm usually doing these ser serious kind of things. And, um, yeah, I, I work on a lot of movies where I have to, you know, sort of I get em emotionally kind of knotted up and having to really, you know, concentrate and all that stuff. But I figured, well, for one thing, I just love diversity in my career. I love doing things that are completely different from one another. Um so this one was just a lot of fun. It was just cool to get to, yeah, be a goofy guy and just kind of enjoy myself. And I just think nothing can go wrong. And like, I, I know what I'm doing and don't worry about it. And, you know, it's kind of just a funny, you know, I got to be kind of light and sort of be the comic relief to some degree in certain moments, which was which was cool and different for me. So. You got to work with John Travolta as your older brother. What was that like working with him? So great. I mean, he's just, he's one of these guys who well, obviously an icon and just one of the best actors out there for many years. But he's just such a great dude. He's just a, he comes to set and gives you a big hug every morning. And he's always got a smile on his face. And, uh, and then, you know, you get down to business and he, we work through every scene with with Randall the director and the other actors and really make sure the scenes flow the best they can we we did um you know a, a week of rehearsals together and really got it all sort of streamlined and he's just such a professional and knows exactly what he's doing it was a real pleasure to get to that's, watch him and be a part of that that's awesome and also you got to share the screen with Sven Temmel as the bank manager a lot because you're both uh -huh. like you're like pretty much under watch. You had to like watch him. What was it like working with him? Because there's these moments where you had like the that's where the, the intensity kicks in. Yeah. You, you yeah. Know, what was that like? Well, it was fun. And, you know, he's great. He 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 really did a great job kind of playing the, you know, <laughs> annoying bank manager guy, you know. So like I, you know, his sort of attitude helped me get extra you know annoyed at him and and uh no it was a it was a perfect dynamic and um uh yeah that was it was great I, everybody on the movie was amazing and um and it was really just a, a fun time you know we had everybody was so friendly and having a great time and the the the, the material is pretty light and and uh enjoyable honestly so I think us like uh, the, the enjoyment we were all getting on on set and the fun we were all having shows on screen, you know, because because it's just like a great time, we're just had a, a blast together. So, yeah, and I also like the fact that, uh, like you just mentioned, you know, he's the annoying bank manager, but then at times you were seen as the annoying character. So it's kind of like <laughs> it went full circle for you to see, like, oh. Uh, am i i made you wonder like is this what you question like is this am i this annoying is this like when you're going after him like you're you just want to like am i am i this bad as well is that was that what you're like what your character might have been thinking <laughs> as you were with the bank page <laughs> yeah no for sure well you know i think my character is a little more on the oblivious side he just doesn't <laughs> he just thinks that he's great and you know he's killing it and knows exactly what he's doing even though He's completely incompetent. So, <laughs> yes. But I do like the way that the, the way the film ends because I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was going to go one way. It goes out in left field in some way. But all together, man, this is a fantastic movie. You know, everyone oh, involved good. and the little twists, little twists and turns throughout. You know, yeah. and all together, man. I I hope people will get to see this movie when it comes out. Me too. Me too. I, I, I'm glad that's your reaction to it. You know, it's, it's, it's cool. I've been getting uh, a lot of uh, good feedback and people seem to really like it. So um, 
yeah, I'm excited about it and, and, and I'm glad that it, that it uh, came together like that. Well, with that said, what's next for you after cash out that you can talk about in projects in the works that you could talk about? Yeah, I'm about to start filming a, 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 a movie called lips like sugar. Um, that's, uh, you know, we're going to start filming in April in, uh, in LA and that's with Woody Harrelson. I think he's a really cool, great script. One of the best scripts I've read in a, in a minute. So, um, excited about that. Yeah. That's awesome. I can't, I'm going to look forward to that one too. Yeah. Well, everyone check out cash out on April 26th. This is a fantastic heist thriller. Excellent cast. And Lucas, thank you so much for, again for taking the time to talk about it. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Same here. Take care. Yeah. All right. Have a good one.